Hi! This is the Queen Jubilee weekend and uh, we're going to go to the Channel Islands um, for the weekend. We're currently in Torbay over here. We are heading for Dartmouth for our one o'clock in the morning departure. To Guernsey. It should be interesting. Yeah. Morning. Good morning. At silly o'clock. Yeah, it's silly o'clock. <laughs> and uh, we're heading across the Channel Islands, totally black at the moment. And uh, I've got no radar, which is uh, mildly annoying, but clear day. I think the first part of the journey is going to be under engine and then we're going to pick up about 14 knots beam breach in the mid channel where we pick up and uh, yeah three different boats on the journey catch you later Sun is just starting to come up, but had to resort to some engine to maintain my five knot speed, otherwise, I'll uh, miss the tide going down to Russell. But yeah, all going well, flat sea, a little bit of a cold wind, but it is early in the morning. But uh, I love the sunrises. Making good speed, we are eye under sail, but it's a rather uncomfortable sail. It's a 12 hour sail. Uh, sea sickness, unfortunately, has got Maxine, so she's crossed out. I'm getting very tired at the moment, uh, but we've only got one hour left, and even I am feeling a little seasick, and that doesn't normally get to me. Our new puppy. is totally unfazed by the whole thing. So yeah, looking forward to just being able to moor up in a quiet, quiet little place to Peter's Port and just get some shut eye. So uh, yeah, hour to go and then we're into the little rustle. This lighthouse is on the northern section of the Little Russell and is called the Plate Fougere. This marks the entrance to the Little Russell. Do not be tempted to cut on the inside of this.
How many hours have you been awake? Since midnight, 12, 13, 14, 15 hours. I'm getting a bit tired. This incredible yacht is called Marela. It was built by Camper and Nicholson Limited in 1931. We later saw this yacht moored up in Falmouth where we took these photographs. It's recently gone through a multi-million pound restoration to bring back its incredible original Art Deco interior. After a 14 hour journey, it was nice to come into the calm waters of St. Peter's Port. How's it going, Neil? Cheers. Well, I've just about stopped being that drunken sailor walk that you get after a long whittle. But I'm still... Whittle? <laughs> Should we cut there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll have a re-edit. <laughs> Rewind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just sort of finally, Neil has not got anything else to do. And he has put up all the bunting. up the tent at the back and he's sitting down he's having an anchor beer I really struggle to wind down and stop it's <sighs> hard it's not easy to do every woman's dream <laughs> <laughs> he's having a little bit of cheese we had chicken curry and our friends are somewhere out there I'd like to say the chicken curry was chicken curry in a tin. You know what, when you're hungry, it was all right. Now you've ruined that moment now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, let's go. Good dog. <laughs> this queue of people are waiting to get back onto their cruise ship. Guernsey had 180 cruise ships last season. So cruise ships are a nice little earner for the island. This is the inner harbour which is for locals only which I think is a wonderful idea. Here's an unusual sign. Do not tamper with these moorings. What the? Beware the sill to the inner harbour, I've said. Well, how are we getting on with training the dog on the boat? done too well really. It now thinks that there's nowhere else to go except on a boat. 
We went to, to have a drink with friends last night and the first thing the dog did when he got on their boat was poop. On and their deck? On the, we took it for a walk beforehand. So now the only bathroom is a boat. Obviously, when we're invited on your boat, it won't be your boat. <laughs> but yeah, luckily they were dog owners and incredibly understanding. They even had doggy poop bags there, but yeah. Anybody, um. anybody want to buy a dog? <laughs> Prices had become very expensive to stay in the town quay. In our next adventure, we're going back across the channel. Put him in the bed with the captain, starter! <laughs> The classic boat and sea shanty festival in Falmouth. It was fun. We had a good time. So join us. Thanks for viewing. Like and subscribe. Bye.